wants to do the recap from last session. I did last week, so I believe it's someone else's turn. Yeah, don't all rush at once now. Um, I can do it, I suppose. Sure. Go for it. Um, okay, so we, I think we started off last time with um, <coughs> uh, a set of sort of accounts and uh, diary entries and various things from what we think was a doctor or apothecary or healer of some kind. And uh, then we spent quite a long time investigating uh, the residential areas of the fort. So we came across a number of shrines. Um, <coughs> uh, we did a lot of lock picking. Um, uh, let's see. We found uh, we found various magical items. So we got some. I think we got some some magical picks. We got um, uh, we got some rings from a jeweler's workshop. We found uh, we found an elf dead in a locked room, and the the engravings on the walls concealed a hidden compartment, which had um, a stone with a, some sort of divination aura on it, and then um, the box with uh, beads of force, which uh, we're immediately suspicious of. Uh, but the Ed's, uh, the elf's dead, so. Obviously, we just uh, took the magic items and uh, we, we'll use them properly. We won't use them to, like, you know, uh, <laughs> to, to fight to fight everyone. Um, what else? Lots more um, Warren-like rooms. Oh, we found a, a magical, possibly cursed liar um, that I I totally played anyway. And, uh, <laughs> then I started bleeding from the nose and ears. Um, uh, what else? Oh, we found a magical bow in a Fletcher's room, um, which turns out is a really, really frickin' good bow. Uh, and then we uh, then we discovered what we th think were the controls to the fortress's uh, plumbing. Um, we found there's it appears to be fed from an underground river of some kind, and we detected what appeared to be some kind of magical poison that it, that was in the water. So um, that has been marked down for later exploration. Um, then we headed uh, back down the big corridor where the zombie had fled and subsequently disappeared. And um, we saw a bunch of dwarves. Well, they looked like dwarves until we got a bit closer to them and when it became clear that they were ghosts um, guarding a big set of doors. And we decided that rather than ask them and press them for any kind of useful information, that we would just, you know, be respectful and, and let them know that their watch had finished and uh, that they were dead. And then they faded away, which is all very sad. But we d we figured out who they were, and uh, hopefully we can get to uh, setting them to rest and composing an epic about their centuries-long uh, guarding of this door. Um, we found a, we went through a couple of aristocrats' rooms. Um, we found a tied-up zombie, uh, like a young girl, who we had to execute. Um, uh, there was an artist's room, where uh, an arakakra and uh, like had like what was basically an, an artist's studio. And then we looped all the way back round, and we are basically at the door at this point. I would also like to add two other things. Mm -hmm. We found a pearl, which means we can actually identify these magic items. Oh, yes. Uh, and the other interesting thing on the caged up elf is unlike most of, or I believe all the corpses we have found, they showed no sign of uh, the disease on their body, mm -hmm. or specifically on their hand, which seems to be the sign elsewhere. Yeah. I think that's... Uh that's pretty much what we expected after we read through the notes, right? Because yeah. the doctor said that the elves weren't showing any sign of uh, illness. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, um, we also found like a big pile of books that are, that were on like mathematics and religion and speculative metaphysics, which made me super happy. Yep. It's true. Which, we did. which Katie's obviously fully written up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Obviously. Can we have those uh, sent to the yep. the storage piece so we can read the books that you've written? 
yeah, yeah, of course. Major. It's just your dissertation, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to send you a load of uh, maths textbooks. I hope that's okay. <laughs> All right. So, um... We also found a room full of toys. Yes. Oh, that's yes. true. It's true. Yeah, we found a, we found a toy maker. Mm. It was very skilled. They were all, like, articulated and everything. Yeah. And also, mm. one of the ghosts was a bird. We forgot. That is true. Mm hmm That is definitely true. So, I believe we had one room left to explore to the west, and then we can open the gate. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm. Waiting for Sorry. So you enter a cozy room. It's uh there's a lot of fabrics draped over the, the walls, a few comfy chairs to lounge in. Uh there are two bedrooms off to each side. Um and there is there's two large desks in the room um along with uh, and they along with some books and they seem to mostly be sort of these are more religious things these are sort of uh, rites and rituals related to the various shrines that you've seen so far um they are probably familiar to you they're not going to be the same as the ones you've used but uh you know they are reminiscent of the ones that you've used. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, <clears throat> more stuff we can archive later. Unless any of this particularly interests any of you. Uh, the drapes? The drapes? Are they... what colour? They are... blue. Uh, uh, okay. Do we want to make a thorough investigation of this room, or um, are we have to just move on? There may be things hiding under all this cloth somewhere. Worth a look, I suppose. Mm -hmm. um, you take a closer look through the room, you kind of you look under the rugs, but you don't find any secret doors or anything. Uh, you find, you know, uh, small tokens and items uh, which correspond to the sorts of rituals you might see uh, for the gods. Um, and, uh, yeah, it looks as though the the dwar two dwarves, presumably, that lived here, uh, did indeed devote their time to maintaining the various shrines and working them. Ah, that was one thing I wish to remind, if we're not aware. Um, our bard will have detect magic up. Oh. And I believe our yes. cleric will have to take poison up. The yes. Because we stop every ten minutes to wait for ten minutes. The uh, detect magic aura is up and does not detect anything magical in this room. Mm -hmm. cool. I figured you'd remember or have it, but I just wanted to... Yeah, no. Good to Find check. Because yeah. even with the aura up, I forget. <laughs> right. <coughs> Are we ready to uh, see what's on the other side of that door? Yep. <laughs> Let's see what's so important. I should pick up my arrow again. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Uh, are there? So I, I'm not assuming there aren't, but there's no like obvious levers or opening mechanisms. It's just the large stone door. No, it's a it's a large. So it's actually it's a large wooden door, and it you don't know uh, that it's locked particularly. I mean, the ghosts were kind of standing in front of it. And it's closed. Do you want me to take a look and um, see if it's uh, locked or trapped or anything? By all means. <laughs> smart, all right. smart. <clears throat> uh, so, I would like to check the door to see uh, if it is trapped. You make a check. Make okay. some kind of investigate check. And it's a 16. That looks like an investigate check. Uh, it does not appear that the door is trapped. Okay, looks good. Um, I'm gonna just try the handle. It is. It opens. The door does not seem to be locked. Do you 
Are you sort of opening? I just want to open it just like a little, like a crack and try and peer inside. You open it a crack and you peer inside. Looks like a big room. You can't see. It's really hard for me to give you just a little peek. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, you see a, a sort of moderately long corridor leading to a wide open room at the end. Uh, no obvious figures are moving around the corridor. Not in the initial corridor, no. Okay, in that case I'll just open the door fully then. Uh, right, Ooh. let me see how far you can all see. Hold on. Oh, I can't select you because you got. Oh, am I moving your torch? I can't have that now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so you see ahead a, 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 you know, a, a corridor. Again, ornate. You know, you've been in some not so ornate rooms now. Now they're starting to do some real nice patterns again. Uh, there is a long, tall corridor, and at the end of the long, tall corridor, there are stairs heading down into the darkness. And uh, you've all only got so much dark vision, so you can't see further than that. Mm -hmm. oh. <coughs> I, would, I would like to pick up the glowing arrow and uh, hand it back to our, our lovely bird friend. Would you, you like me to fire it up? That would be um, a good idea, if you don't mind. If you wouldn't, just I can do it. step out the way. Okay. There's an arrow. The arrow flies through the darkness, illuminating the zombies and the zombie Albert. You thought I was joking. We what? <laughs> <laughs> no, yes, the, yes. The quality we did. Albert posts. Oh my god, okay. I like that you thought I was joking. Yeah, we did. <laughs> <laughs> did, I, did I hit it? You, it you don't hit it. It sails past it and strikes uh, the opposite wall uh, just here, uh, where it hits below okay. and embeds, kind of, well, I guess it kind of bounces off. It's a stone wall and there's a balcony uh, kind of above. So it goes. the stairs go down. Um, leading into your brief glance, it looks like a, a big arena, basically. So, yeah, it, it opens up. You've got these these steps uh, going down, and then seating wrapping around the sides, um, like a big what are they called? Amphitheater, like a half <laughs> amphitheater, and then sunk into the the floor a little bit is a large arena. The floor is flat and covered in sand as far as you can see and uh, on the far wall there is a balcony with some very fancy chairs and benches and also a zombie uh -huh. well so, do, the, do the creatures seem to have reacted to the light they have not reacted they don't react immediately. They, they're they very sleepy zombies, and they're just waking up from a very long nap. All right, how do we want to, uh, how do we want to approach this? Well, I, well, I think they'll be coming to us now. Hmm. Uh, can I see the, because I, it's, because it's lit up, uh, peering, there's the, the dwarf zombie on the raised balcony. Mm -hmm. Is it carrying any obvious weaponry or equipment that a would ident be useful to identify it? It has a bow, which may be of interest. <laughs> um, it has... Uh, you, you can't really see much obvious identifying from it. It's wearing fairly plain clothes. Um, it's got a lot of sort of pouches and pockets uh, on its armour. Possibly from context, some kind of hunter originally, uh, and indeed, there are more than you can just see here undead. There are the bodies of uh, quite a few dwarves around here, especially the ones torn apart in the uh, pit of the arena. I see. Mm. Well, if that actually gets a sight. I don't get it. 
Well, they could have had their. They could have been given their orders before all of this happened. They could just be guarding the doors to the arena. Hmm. Because if why? this. Because if this leads down into the pit, this would be where the fighters go. And if it's not unpleasant things, they wouldn't want people wandering in or interrupting a fight. Uh. It may also be sealed off from other parts of the fortress if they were trying to hold up somewhere. Hmm. That's true. Or perhaps it, if those raised balconies were those fancy chairs, perhaps that leads round to the witcher areas. So they didn't want the infected getting getting round and through, and they decided to cut them off here. Hmm. Like guess they didn't do a very good job Okay, after all. well, whilst you're having this nice leisurely conversation, the zombies are starting to wake up and move. Either way, that one has a bow, so we can't exactly hang back. I think we need to go forward. Alright. Um, I'll get my own out. Let's see how this goes. Do I have a crossbow? I do have a crossbow. Bro. Let's roll initiative, maybe. <gasps> okay. <good>. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's a good start. That's, that's as expected. Yep. Uh, is it entering? Okay, um, I've got to enter all these manually, I think. 22. Javora. I just had to find it again. My aim is updated. Where did Sims go? There is no Druid here. There is no Druid here. There we go. Hmm. Do, do, do. Us. And did you mention that you scroll down? And this one gets a. I don't, I lost my place. I need numbers. There we go. I think that one rolled a two. I don't know if you saw that. Uh, yeah, it looks like a two. Yep. <sighs> oh, no, Such not twenty. Quite low rolls for my channel. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. True. And... Uh, yeah. This. Okay, I will sort these into... No, that's backwards. There we go. Akeem! The zombies are waking up, oh no. Alright, well, uh, I suppose it's probably a solid idea to um, get out my crossbow. And I'm going to try and shoot the archer at the back. Go for um, it. So this is going to be at disadvantage because it's beyond my short range. But... But nice even at disadvantage, that's a hit. Yeah. Alright, and then... Five piercing damage. Five piercing damage. And that was to the archer at the back, correct? That was, yeah. Yep. Um, I'm going to move up a little bit. Um... Probably just to there. I don't want to be right at the front. No. However, uh, is that your turn? Uh, that is my turn, yes. However, you are at the front and, I believe, illuminated by your torch. Uh, this is true. Oh shit, yeah, that's a good point. I should have dropped the torch. You should have dropped the torch. Okay. The, um, the, the zombie that, uh, you fire that is gonna fire right back at you. All right. No. What is this? That's not how I roll. Uh, cool. That's it. It's done. Big boy. Goes. Come on, chunk. speed. Chunky boy. Chunk, 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 to the bottom of the stairs. Oh, it disappeared. Oh. There's like the tiny... Some of us can, <laughs> some of us can see that, some of us can't. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, that's 
probably really scary from the bird's perspective. You, you don't. I didn't need to put the skull and crossbones icon on it, but I just thought it would be appropriate. Yeah, it, it, it was. was. Yeah. Yep. This yep. is a dead elf. Okie dokie. Next up. This zombie is gonna move this way, move this. No, 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 I accidentally stretched it. Wait. It's a stretchy zombie boy. Ah, uh, no, it's just gonna move there and ready in action. Which will probably not be necessary, but you know, just in case. Uh, Iona! What's up? Alright. Uh, I've got lots that I. So. I want to shoot the the guy on the balcony. Mhm. Mm yeah, and I got I've got my extra, t so I want to sharp shoot him twice. Go for it. Did I? Did I? I did not. No, oh, well, a, a one always misses, sadly. Yeah. 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 Misses. I just didn't see the number right away. Let's try that again. So, the improvement. Nope. I mean, it's better. Well, I've been thrown off by this crazy beast that's come. <laughs> I'm <laughs> off my game. There was a giant beast charging towards us, which, from your perspective, has just disappeared into the darkness. You're probably distracted trying to see it. I'm ready for flight. <laughs> Is your natural instinct when there's a giant beast to be airborne? Pretty much. I don't blame you. <laughs> <laughs> there's high ceilings along here. You can do that sort of thing. Mm. I'll keep that. Mm. Is that all you're doing? That's yeah. my turn. Cool. Okay. Singe beard. Okay. Toys I have. What toys do I have left? I don't think I got all of them. Um, 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 just a quick ninja. Sorry, I just checked something. Nah, it's alright. Yeah. Spellcast all lives. Yeah, oh, I'm nowhere near that. That's. That's ominous. No, no, I'm just checking if I can. No, not that. <laughs> no. Oh! Oh, yeah. yeah. Stop. Stop. Desist. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's, let's just get forward for a bit. Um, this is going to be a little tricky to move because it's a cluster of heaps. You could probably do like. <coughs> Uh, it's yeah. a zombie. How fast could it be? Yeah, that's as that's as far as I can get. Um, thank you for drawing that out. That was useful. That's all right. Bet you are like prepared to fight before that. Oh wait, that is sixty feet. Because like if I summon it in front of it, that is sixty feet away. Yeah, that's within sixty um, feet. There's probably some That's like vertical distance involved, but yeah. we're not going to bother with that. I'd said I'm not going to do it this turn at any way, even though I could. Um, mostly because then it's going to try and desperately chase after something, and that's not going to work well for you. So what's the plan, Spam? Oh, bears don't wear armor. I don't. The owlbear is the owl. Yeah, that is literally just out of range of my attack, so that is my turn. Your turn, Devor. Are you there? Uh, should I shoot uh, dodge you dodge dodging? Yeah, sorry, should have said. That's fine. Yeah, that's the thing. Um, I am going. Devor is going to come up um, just behind uh, Keem, I think. Can't get in front of you, unfortunately. No, that's fine. And I think. I think I'm actually going to cast a spell. What? I know, I'm not smiting with a spell slot. Outrageous. 
I don't think I'm gonna bless because I think other people can bless. But I think I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna selfishly cast Shield of Faith on myself. Fair enough. <clears throat> I think I'm the like the lowest AC here apart from our birds, so I'm gonna do that. Um, it seems like a good use of my time, so I will come up here and I will cast Shield of Faith on myself, which is giving me two temporary AC. And that'll be my turn. Cool. Uh. Um. Hello. Hello. Pew pew at yeah. again. Uh, that does hit me. Yeah. Wow, really? It does. I'm not. I'm not holding a shield. Mm. Oh, My AC no. is 16. Ah, of course. <clears throat> uh, uh, five damage, okay. please. And now you have a turn. Oh, is it back to me again? Wonderful. Yep. <laughs> um. I know, it's way fewer zombies this time. Because one's an hour. Yeah, that's just a fucking... Out <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay. Um, you know what? I'm going to shoot the. Problem is, they're both in dim light, so that's going to be disadvantage. Wait, not disadvantage in dim light. Nope, dim light. It's only disadvantage to perception. Yes. Or investigate. Perception, I think. Perception, I believe. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so, so I can actually, I can actually see the owl there too. Okay, um, the owlbear is probably going to be one of our bigger problems, so I'm going to attempt to shoot it. <laughs> wow, yeah, it's very sense. shortly going to stop us being able to easily do anything about the rest of them. Uh, I have no idea whether that's going to hit it. Probably not. Um, let me check. Uh, it does not hit. That's fair enough. I think an um, owlbear provides a lot of cover as well. So speaking of cover... Um, I'm going to move back to here. <laughs> you hiding? Um, yeah. <laughs> Good idea. Hide oh, behind. Oh, and before I forget, I'm going to take a bonus action to uh, to second wind, which nice I can job. do now. You can. Do it. You can. <coughs> okay. Sweet, nice. full nine hit points back. Beautiful. Nicely done, sir. I can't mm -hmm. see your health because you got torch on top of you, but I'm going to assume it's good now. It is. It is thirty out of thirty-nine. Okay, is that your turn? That is my turn, yes. Next up. The zombie has got all the range, so, uh. Gonna shoot at Dravora. Take a shot. Ha! Miss! No! Shield of Faith did a thing! It That's did, it helped. <laughs> Shield of Faith did help. And uh, it's gonna help you now that this Albert is gonna go. Yay! It's coming up the stairs! We now get the stairs are too small for dwarves. its big elf bare feet. But it climbs them anyway. And then this one boy. Oh. Hop. Did a hop. You could didn't see it. Hop to thing. No, I you can see it now. I'll give it to you. Uh, Dravora. Miss. Yep. Iona. Yeah. Well, you I did such a poor... Such a poor job last time. I'm gonna try it again. Don't let it get you down. You can do it. Yeah. Here comes some double sharpshooting action for the that game. Is, that is... That is some double sharpshooting action right there. That is two All hits. Right. That's two hits for you, man. You have composed Sweet. yourself wonderfully. Oof. Yep, there's our bird. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, was that the an owlbear? Eight a, an eight and a one, the full range. <laughs> uh, was that owlbear? No, was that, that was the... the guy on the balcony. Oh, uh, balcony guy, yep, yep. Uh, balcony guy. You and that. He is not happy with you. Yay! Uh, 
I'm a little spooked by the, the bear, the... I'm gonna sure. take a couple yep. steps back. Understandable. <laughs> Clamber back onto the pile yeah. of corpses. That's good for me. <laughs> okay. Uh, Singed Beard. Okay. Stand. I was thinking it's so easy. Oh, no, I'm to your back. So. Um, okay, bonus action for my toy. Can has it, Katie? Uh, you can have the toy. Where's, where did I put it? Oh, it's over here. It's I have a present for you. Here you go. Hammer, baby. <laughs> um, I'm going to put you there. should be fine and it's going to take a swing at the bear yeah spiritual weapon swing ooh good boy <laughs> please tell me 18 hits yeah please tell me 18 hits the owl boy <laughs> owl boy hits no not that one sorry my mistake nope. take that one I mean, it didn't do well, but it was something. I'll boy been hit. Bonk. Okay. Um, bonus action. Oh, oops. Okay. Uh... Yeah, it's just next. I can save you there. And a sacred flame, which means I want a dex save from the owlbear, please. Uh, I don't owl like the owlbear. The owlbear does a dex. Yeah, that's fine. The owlbear's fine. Good! Isn't that great? Isn't everyone happy that the owlbear's fine? Totally. Um, I did something! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Trevora. Okay, right. Trevora is going to go so one, two, something. three, four, five. And Trevora is going to hit this fucking owlbear. Mm hmm. Okay, let's uh, bring up my character sheet. Four. We'll start off with. Uh, swing. 26. Swing. 26 hits the owlbear. Alright, I'm going to elect to smite the owlbear with a level 2 smite. You smite the owlbear? Which is going to be an additional 4d8. Because it's 3d8 plus 1d8 because it's undead. I assume it's undead? Yep. It's, it's a zombie owlbear. <laughs> <laughs> so it's going to take 11 um, magical bludgeoning damage. And it's going to take... 23 radiant damage. Ooh. Mm. <laughs> Eat that. And then I'm going to use my second attack to swing at the owlbear. 11. Does not hit the owlbear. Okay, well the second attack misses. Okay. Um, I don't think I want to do anything with my bonus action. Still sure. taking a chunk of rotting feathers off the bone. Check my spell list. Nope, that will. Uh, that will do me. I'm not gonna use that as well. So, ooh, hang on a minute. I need to check something. I really should write this. Oh, no, oh I'd uh, like to clarify something. The owlbear does actually take up one tile. I just it the image fitted on two. Oh, is it um, only medium sized? I believe so. I thought it'd be large. I think, oh, no, I think sorry, owlbears are large. No, sorry, it is large. Which means it technically takes up four. Technically, technically it takes up four, yes. Very chunky boy. Um, technically, I'm uh, dangerous. Yes, I don't need to do either of There he is. There things. he is. So I will end my... I, oh, that's... It's... Um, ooh, hello. It's twerking. <laughs> twerking owlbear. Yeah, that's... So that's a bit too chunky. No, no, we'll no. Make, we'll, no, we'll that's what it should be. Come on, get that out. It looks fine. I loved it. But that's my turn. That'll be my turn. Okay. Next up, Zomboy. Uh, well, so I feel like an owlbear counts as cover. An owlbear definitely counts as cover. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, you're shooting past this giant bear. Yeah, so... 
That's why I was comfortably moving. Like, come on, Albert, give come us the on. wall. <laughs> Blo block off the corridor, Albert. You um, could argue how much cover it provides, to be honest, but. Let's see. Okay, uh, well the zombies are starting to wake up a little bit now. So whilst this one is going to be at disadvantage because of cover, uh, it is going That's not to... That's what uh, Sorry, it's, it's a negative. It's plus it's 2 plus AC plus if two it's to half AC. cover, or plus 5 AC if it's 3 quarters cover. So I would say the owlbear, especially because the owlbear is like between the stairs and it, is like 3 quarters cover. So you're going to have plus 5 AC and then the uh yeah sorry there's a moment of confusion and then zombie over here is going to fire twice at you with the longbow who's you uh sorry dravora ah, sure. they've got multi-attack <laughs> they were just waking up before <laughs> that's a that miss. is that's a uh, miss two misses that is not these are not zombies guys <laughs> this is bad they would literally <laughs> roll 20s to hit me in that situation uh. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah, but Keen. if they do, <laughs> no, nineteen would also hit me. Alone. Okay, right. Um, Don't. Well, I think the. Jam. So I, I think all the obvious thing <laughs> to do is, is at this point is oh, shoot it. So I'm a shooter. Yeah. Shoot it. If you encourage the GM, that's how you get zombie albers. Does a twelve hit? <laughs> twelve does not hit zombie albers. All right. In which case, I will uh, put my crossbow away, and I will move up. To I'm gonna say here. You are the last the last turn before the Albert, so Wait, hang just on. be aware of that responsibility. Ju well, just me, it, not no, right. not the torch. Go back there, you. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> your your torch is not to be trusted. <laughs> it really isn't. At least it's just one torch, and you're not juggling four balls. Yeah, that's true. It's true. Like that's uh, that's, that's my turn, by the way. Okay, uh, we got. Balcony zomboy. Uh, I'd say it's only half cover from this one because this one is elevated higher yep. than the owlbear, mm -hmm. whereas sense. the other ones were low behind sure. the owlbear. Uh, so, light cover firing at Singebeard. Two shots. I assume 23 hits. 23 hits. And that will be. Ten piercing damage, please. Wait a minute, let me just check something. I'm sorry, I'm doing slightly more slow or something. What's the short range of the crossbow? It's using it's a longbow. Using oh, it's a longbow. longbow. Uh, Which has range 150. No, no That's longbow. It's 120. Right. Got a crossbow. No, it's 150, isn't it? 150. It's 150. Mm -hmm. I think it's 120. Ten no, piercing damage. Okay. Sorry, I forget the dwarves all have longbows. There we go. Nope, I took the hit points off first. I thought you'd taken that off of your uh, your hammer for a moment there. Don't forget, hammer's got a kill count and a damage count. So that that you're like keeping track of the hammer. Yeah, I know. I, I forgot to add four before, but now we've added it. Uh, okay, uh, that is Balcony Zomboy's turn. Now it's uh, the the chunky bear boy. So you don't know if it's a boy. It could be any gender of Albert. It's it's not really relevant at this point, is it? What's yeah, relevant is it's about, to peck, it's about just going to try and peck my face off. Oh! Oh, no, no, no. I didn't up my hit points. I mean, you can't because we haven't rested. But you get, no, you get mean, power and max when you level, though, right? You, you get max hit points when you level. I thought you got current, too. Uh, I guess that's <laughs> GM's call. I... No, that's fine. That's that's absolutely fine. I don't need to. Because I increased that. mine, and I told I other people. I don't know. Uh... I'll, I'll stay where it is. I'll stay where it is. It's easy. Okay. We'll hold up. Um, in that case, uh, anyway, don't distract me from the fact that uh, <laughs> this, al this right. zombie owlbear is about to smack you in the face. Uh, so I believe only uh, Dravora is adjacent to the owlbear. Yep. So well, that's going to be some hits. Let's... Should I secret roll this? No, let's just public roll this. So it's going to claw at you, and then it's going to try and peck you. Okay. 
Does advanced. 20 hit? A, a hit. Does 18 hit? Yep. Okay, so the, the claw... Just straight out. This is how we die. <sighs> Seriously? <laughs> is that phys is that physical? Uh, that will be slashing. slashing. I think I think we need her we need to break out heroism for this. We need something impressive because if that doesn't die real quick, we are and twelve. Trouble. I mean, I can't heal you, so. All right. Well, I'm bloody. The Be best I can do is give you temporary hit points. Uh, yeah, I can do something not much like i can heal myself but i i, I don't want to not swing <laughs> okay uh well that's uh that's that turn um oh let me do um concentration checks yeah yeah go for it uh that's the wrong page that's why that's not working that is a shocking roll isn't it mm-hmm oh dear fine and fine fine Okie dokie. Next up, some boy at the back, moving up closer. Could you rolled max, max, and seven on the d10. <laughs> <laughs> and is gonna shoot twice at Singebeard. Hit, miss. Hit, miss. Wait, oh, is that the balcony dwarf? Uh, no, that's, uh, oh, sorry, yeah, you've got three quarters cover. Sorry. Oh, hit. oh yeah, because, sorry, yeah. Yeah, I forgot you didn't have the plus two for some reason. Okay. Ten damage, please. Oh, me, not Hammer. Iona. Uh, well, I was locked in a duel with that guy on the balcony, but this bear situation just got so real. <laughs> so. I've got to concentrate all of my double sharpshooter action on the. And. Okay, that's a miss and just a hit. Uh -huh. I also don't wish to backseat too much, but remember all of your other toys. Yeah, I know. I, I was just going to see. I needed one to hit, so. The one that hit, I'm going to make it a shadow arrow. So sure. Good job. There's the regular damage. And then it's 2d6. I can't remember what it might I'm be 2d8. But... No, what it's 6. Whatever you have written down. I'm pretty sure. And, uh, uh, and you have to make a, a saving throw. Yeah, all kinds. Uh, do you remember? Uh, yep. Yeah. Um, it is a wisdom saving throw. Right. Wow, he's a very smart. He's the smartest. Yes, it is because it's Katie. This is <laughs> this is why my sacred flame, which should be a decent cantrip, is awful in this campaign. <laughs> because Katie. <laughs> I'll roll low eventually, just on unimportant stuff. Are yeah. you doing anything yeah. else, Bird? As the voice of someone there. who's getting mauled by an owl bear and wants you to do something about it. I'm not. I'm not saying you have an action surge. Um. You don't have to. I'm just reminding you you have it. Oh yeah. What is it again? Um. It lets you. Uh. If you use it, you can take one additional action, and you get it okay. once per short rest, which would enable you to say shoot twice again. Could I, I believe that's accurate. Right? Yeah, that's, that's yeah. accurate. Yeah, I'm I can shoot twice more. You can take another action, yeah. which means you can take an attack action, and when you take the attack action, you attack twice. Okay, here comes some more double sharp shooter action. Okay, that's uh, one Did hit, one work? miss. Alright, I'll take it. Please go down. I don't mm. think it's gonna go down yet. I can do a, a second shadow arrow. Here it comes. You're doing so much damage. It's great. Yeah. Good work. Mm -hmm. Or a 
Okay, that was give it, uh, iron is stacked. Give us another wisdom save, please. Oh, yeah, Anywhere wisdom save. Through. Yep. That's good. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. Sure. I'll Sorry. protect you as much as I can. No, Iron is protecting her friends. Mm -hmm. From halfway down the corridor. Giving it everything I got. Let's be nice down there. <laughs> <laughs> I feel safe. So now. Um, Singebeard, it is your turn, but I really need to pee, so I'm gonna run and do that real quick. Okay. <laughs> and oh, then wait. come back. There's no rush. Okay. You can ha you can How's your spell slots looking? Okay, not amazing. Would you guys uh, would you guys want uh, heroism? Um, well, uh, I am. I've got twenty two of forty nine left, mm -hmm. and really, I should have nine less than that. Um, hmm. I re I should be on thirteen because I added current yeah, yeah, levels, yeah, yeah, and I that know. was incorrect. But Katie said we should stick to what we have for now and do it better next time. Mm -hmm. uh, who else is bloody out of interest? Uh, I'm on exactly half. I'm bloody. Okay, well I then. Been yeah, uh, I'll I'll heroism you both just to keep shit cool. going because I am all out of my um, uh, bardic inspirations at this point. Hmm. If you don't get them back on short, we don't have I do short not, rest, not yet. You get them back on short rests at level? higher level. Uh, I forget which level it is. I think it's like I think it's like five or six. It's really quite right. early. So so it's. It might be five. It's not five. five. I don't think it is five. Let me check. I have my book right here. <sighs> Let me look at my um, toys. It's fifth. Right, okay, so I could actually... That's probably worth it for next level. Yeah, that's it's... Oh, it's... but do I want action surge? <laughs> it's a thing. We well, still can't cast two spells in the turn, right? Maybe no. Maybe well, you, you can cast... Um, yeah, cantrips, I suppose. Cantrips. It would like you, like, equip your shield and do something. But action surging to put your shield on makes me laugh. It does. <laughs> but it's also, it like, I can think of so many times when that would have been, like, really useful if our paladin had had that in other campaigns. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, I think there's probably some lovely fifth level bard spells too, but I don't, want, I don't want to tell you how to level up. You can always make some... No, I can't with the fifth yet. level bard spell list. What else do we have? Um... Oh yeah, there, there is some good stuff, but like <gasps> honestly, I really wanted to have proficiency in shields. I'm not. Yeah, no, I think. <laughs> I, I think <laughs> it's, no, it was it was a good play. It's a good play. It is I. Hello. Oh, welcome back. Uh, yeah, listen back to that later. It's just a bunch of nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> we should have so taken the benefits. opportunity to just like speak dark and and terrible things to uh, <laughs> <the> <laughs> viewers. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we were discussing multi-classing. That's pretty dark and terrible things. That is dark and terrible. How far was I into video? Forty-five minutes or so. I mean, so. we bullshitted about an owlbear and a zombie owlbear is currently mauling the fuck out of my face. So yeah. dark and terrible <laughs> things have already happened. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> All right. Singebeard. Okay, let's start with a hammer because it's easier. Move it back there because I can. Um. Boop that bear. Where'd your weapon go? I assume 20 hits? Yes. Uh, 11 force damage to the owlbear. 11 force damage to the owlbear. Uh, <sighs> I really need that thing to die. You're um, getting there. It's definitely bloodied. Oh, that's good to know. Um, oh, I'm actually going to cast a spell. Yeah, let's cast a spell. Uh, I can't move up. No, I can cast a spell and move up. Okay. Um, I am casting Guiding Bolt on the Albert. Let's see if that actually hits. It hasn't and it barely does. Oh, that boy. Twelve. No. No. I appreciate the effort. Alright. <laughs> um, I'll move up just to try and split some of the damage. Okay. That's all I got. Okie dokie. Okay. Let's do Aurora. 
first thing I'm going to do while I'm like shoving this thing off me is um, a grab at my holy seal symbol um, that's around my neck, uh, mm-hmm. raise up uh, my lucerne hammer and um, shout. Uh, did we name this fortress yet? Uh, we uh, did. We yes, we did. did. Yeah. Let me go find the name. Yeah, it's on Obsidian Portal. Uh, Obsidian Portal Adventure Log. Part. Yeah, they named the fort on Ultimoth. On Ultimoth? Yes. Yep. Yes. On Ultimoth. Ra- raise that up and shout, FOR FOR Ultimoth! And there's like a glowing, like, pulse that like thrusts out out of her hammer and everyone who is uh bloodied and near me is going to get some hp back uh everyone who is uh not more than half hit points regains six hit points cool Aww. i am the dead on half hit points which means you get them yep oh do you mean after the heal no i mean yeah, it's not more than half. So yep. that's 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 my bonus action. Um, and then I am going to follow this up with an attack. On Ultimol. Okay. On Mr. Bear. So let's see what we can do to Bear. 20 hits. 20 hits. But it's going uh, to do barely anything. Um, I am getting sick of this bastard, so I'm going to again <laughs> smite with a spell slot. Kill it! Get is, him! Because uh, I'd like it to get another to get round of attacks and we're fucked. You so are a bit. Kill it with radiant light, please. It's going to take 13 magical bludgeoning and mm-hmm. 27 radiant. Holy shit. This Paladins. Oh! <laughs> Excellent. I think. I think what we're going to do is, as we raise, like, glow, the light glow sort of, it looks up at it and staggers back slightly. And as it staggers back, I'll go in at the knee, because this thing's a lot taller than me, and, like, uh, crunch in its knee. And then it'll, like, slide down to one side before, like, bringing back, and then bringing it, uh, the the hammer round into, like, its jaw, as it's, like, kneeling down from its destroyed knee, which, like, half takes off its jaw. And it, like, head twists awkwardly of a crack. And it like slumps down into this into, into onto the floor. Beautiful. And then it falls down. And for the rest of your turn? Uh, so I still I still I still have. I think movement. the turn's peaked. So. I know. I will finish moving <laughs> up to here, and yeah. use my second uh, attack action to swing at this this uh, this archer. That's a crit. Yes. <laughs> That is a crit. I'm feeling awfully useless here. <laughs> so that is that's a good that's a decent roll of twenty four damage. And is that what type of damage? Uh magical, magical. bludgeoning. Okay, twenty four. Which means so that yep. non magical bludgeoning resistance that zombies shouldn't have. Mm-hmm. Perfectly for zombies. Okay, yeah. that's your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. Okay, we've got a zombie over here. Grr. Gonna try... Yeah, it's gonna... Try it, so it's, it's, it's got, got a long sword. It's gonna try and hit you... Twice... With the long sword. Yeah. Oh. That's gonna miss. That's gonna hit. Yeah. Now, uh, let's see. Alright, well, one, two, six. And can you please make a constitution saving, please? <gasps> With it from its sword? Oh, uh, what type of damage? That will be necrotic. Ugh. Then I actually take that damage and have to roll. Constitution, you said? Yes. Alright, so this is the check from the effect first. 11. 11. Okay, uh, your maximum hit points is reduced by 3 until you finish a long rest. 
Okay. Uh, and then this is the concentration, which I'm good. You did. Cool. Uh, Akeem. All right. Um, I move up to here. I use my interact with object to draw my horn. And mm -hmm. with a blast of the horn, uh, I cast heroism, or uh, upcast heroism, in fact, on both the two dwarves. Uh, either side of me. So you guys now, uh, oh, hang on one sec, I'll stick this in chat. Cool. Thank you. Uh, so yeah, uh, my spellcasting ability modifier for reference is uh, plus three. Okay. So you guys yeah. both gain, uh, you're immune to being frightened, and at the start of each of your turns you get three temporary hit points. Very nice. Um, and I th think I am probably gonna then step back. <laughs> Good idea. You don't want to be near this. Mm -hmm. Smart. Um, alright. And uh, now we got the turn at the back with the longbow and the pew pew at uh, probably Singebeard. I'm sorry, I killed your cover. <laughs> one of the yep. second one hits. Second one hits. Yeah, you got no cover. Um, ten damage. Oof. Can you stop yeah. rolling max on your damage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> <He's getting laughs> remember, <laughs> you, remember, you don't um, the uh, you don't have the temps yet. I know. <laughs> I know. Damn it, okay. Katie, you good at saves, not damage. <laughs> I'm good at everything. So, uh, then the undead next to Dravora is going to attack twice, uh, and the first attack will be the special necrotic attack, and the second attack will be a regular longsword attack. So that's the special necrotic attack. Lands. And that's the regular longsword attack. Does not land. So that'll be... Five damage and a constitution save, please. Sure. 23. Uh, yeah, that's a save. And then um, that also holds. This concentration is being luckier than you it should. You are so focused <laughs> right now. Uh, I assume I take another three off my max HP. Uh, or do I take, take five? Off your max oh, I take I take my I take the damage. Off oh no, sorry, points. no, you don't you don't no, take you, uh, you don't take it off your max HP because you passed the save. That's that mm -hmm. you're right. Cool. Yep, that's how that works. <laughs> we can do this. I um, I yeah, I forgot you passed once you asked that. I was like, oh <laughs> yeah, lose those hit points. So that will be that turn. Iona. All right. Well, now that the bear is gone, I can continue my duel. With the guy on the back. It's so the longbow off. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's a no. Uh, let's try that again. Here it comes. Yay. Oh, yes. That's. I think that hits. Yeah. That's Sounds a paddling. <laughs> 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 That's got to do it. What type of damage is it again? Piercing. 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 Ouch. Uh, uh. Oh, what bow are you using? No, does it know if it matters, but it might matter. Uh, well, I kind of switched to the the mech bow. Okay, so you're using the magic bow. Well, the mech bow. We don't know if it's magic. The bow. We haven't ID'd it. We don't know what it is. You are using the bow that you haven't ID'd. Ah, okay. We know it's magical, but we don't um... know. <laughs> I'm just thinking because we know it's magical if, and. If you were using that one, then you should have been saying magical piercing. Okay. Um, is it? Yeah, that's a very different situation. Yeah, yeah. Zomboy on Balcony is uh, not looking yeah. happy right now. Yeah, it's, it's quite <laughs> it's a big very difference. It's very bloodied. Uh, so generally, I like zombies. I ask if the bow is any different. You don't get most of the effects or know what it does because you haven't attuned to it, but there are some stuff. Hmm. 
It's... I've just been messing with it. Yeah, you're like, this is great! I love... <laughs> okay. I love bow, even though it's not as pretty. In yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll mess with it. Oh, you're gonna upset all the dwarves by messing with that beautiful dwarven bow. I'm, oh. I'm convinced the way Iona will attune to it is just spending an hour painting it and covering it with feathers and pink cloth. And glitter. Uh -huh. I, I don't know if glitter's a thing in this setting, but it might have to be just for Iona. We find a way. <laughs> I'll crush up some of the gems. Oh yeah, that'll go down even better for the dwarves. <laughs> Crushing up some valuable shinies. Uh, okay, that's your turn, Iona, I assume? Unless you want to yep. move or anything else, which I think you do. I'm happy where okay. I am. Singebeard. <sighs> what armor are these guys wearing? They are wearing, they're mostly wearing some kind of studded leather. They, uh, yeah. Is it? Oh, no, that, no, never mind then. <coughs> that could have been helpful. Um, okay, let's start with the hammer. Fifteen. Fifteen. Uh, on the one next to the hammer. Six force. Okay, um, I can't be bothered to keep track of the hammer's magic because the hammer's stamp damage count. So I'm just going to keep track of its kills and its misses. Thanks. Yeah. It has a kiss mm. counter. No, <laughs> it's a zero. Um, okay. Hold on. Sorry. Bird. Bird. Bird is protecting you. We are being cheered on. We have cheerleaders. <sighs> Sorry, I'm going into melee. I don't trust spells to work. I don't care of them. I have to be better than I would. <laughs> That's, I love the dwarf. <laughs> I don't trust magic. I'm going to hit him with a thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, these zombies are apparently casually dodging through sacred fire, so we're going to rely on good old dwarven steel. Mm -hmm. Playing some sort of Yakuza game, the zombies are all dancing. 24, good old Dwarven Steel. 24 for the good old Dwarven Steel. That, that is... 8 bludgeoning. 8 bludgeoning. Alright. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Dora. Um, do I, I don't think I need to heal yet. Say potentially being a risky biscuit. I think it's mm -hmm. better to uh, swing. So we'll swing at the weakened one first. Okay, let's do it. Does 26 hit? 26 does hit, actually. Uh, that is 12 uh, magical uh, blunt. Uh, sorry, which one was that against? The one on the left or the right again? Uh, one was significantly weaker than the other, I believe. Yes, the one on the right has been hit a lot. Yeah, that one. Okay, this kills the zombie. I feel, um, as it, as, uh, Singebeard has, has stepped up and, like, shoved his shield against, like, its sword, I assume, trapping it and, like, got a really good mm. hit with its warhammer. I'm gonna like take the advantage and like step slightly behind the shield and bring it around and like crush its arm into the shield, and then like a nice. bit of magic rage damage just like burns away through its chest and it sort of disintegrates down. Then I shall turn around and boop this this other bastard as well. Boop that zombie. Shoot twenty-two hits. Yeah, it does hit. <laughs> That's 16. Um, that is damage. And I'm also going to just step across to here. Hello! As I like stalk around it, like trying to put it between me and the, the arrows that are flying in at me. Or, or, cool. Or, uh, now the zombie gets a turn. And that's my turn. Uh, first one is necrotic, and second is less necrotic. Uh, the so the first one was the necrotic one. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, the physical one landed. Cool. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, how much?
much temple hit points do I have? Is it uh, oh. three? Yeah, you you start with three at the at the, the beginning of each of your turns while this is going on. Okay, so I have a question. No, that's fine. No, it's, it's the question is irrelevant. Thank you. I take one of my temporary hit points and lose them. And oh, con I still want concentration on temporary hit points, don't I? Yes, you do. Any time you take damage. Okay. Uh, the shield is good. I assume if I uh, don't take damage, I don't. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Akeem. Unless it's all right. Uh, I am going to three, four, five. I'm going to move here. I'm going to get out my shield, and with my action, I will equip my shield. Okay, dokie. Bar tank. Yep. Button. Someone's got her. I've got more hit points than you guys. <laughs> Left. <laughs> yes, just really true. Yeah. Whereas the fighter, <laughs> it's still fun. I like how the fighters are like. Well, yeah, but that's their job. Their job is to sh be like a shooty girl. Mhm. Mm mm -hmm. Okay. That's your turn. Yep, that is my turn. Zombie is going to fire at Akeem. And it misses both ping, times. Ping. It misses. Shock. I like the idea that you've like pulled out your shield and stepped forward and taken both these arrows <laughs> on your shield as you advance. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's that's what's going on in my head. I don't know. I'm surprised that the guy on the balcony is still. So I've got to finish him off. It's a pride thing. Cool. Yeah. That one, yeah. Yeah, that hits. Next one. Well, let's see how much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do one at a time. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, yeah, that one goes. It goes right through his eye and kills him. All right. This is why we do them one at a time. <laughs> I wanted to roll both and get one through each eye, though. That would have been cool. Like she knocks them both yeah. at once. That. <laughs> I would have gotten style though. points. <sighs> I want to shoot the other guy now. Uh, you do not shoot the other guy. Okay. I missed because I was trying to be... ...shooting around all these... Trying to, try, try to do a fancy spin, that didn't work. <laughs> you were, you were somewhere yeah, between celebrating and shooting. Yeah. Are, are you referencing 360 no-scopes? Not bad. In our talk walk <laughs> 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 Look, Excuse the you, bird plays a on real life sensitivity game. 13. This is a serious campaign for serious people. And owlbears. <laughs> and zombie owlbears. <laughs> okay. Diddy boy. Right. Put my hammer there. And take a... A swing. <laughs> There. I don't care if it's worse, we're relying on Trusted Dwarf and Steel right now. Does a 13 hit? Thirteen does not hit. Right. I'm sorry. That was a waste a nothing turn. Over to you. Cool. Good turn, Dravora. Well, with my two shielded companions distracting this person. It's eighteen? Hits. Uh, Eleven magical burgeoning. Howie. And I think for style points. We're gonna Full style points. Circle it. Um, sixteen. Sixteen hits. Uh, and then thirteen. Uh, magical bludgeoning. Ouch. And cool. that's my turn. And uh, now it's that zombie. It's surrounded. It's outnumbered. It's, uh, oh, just, just hold on. Uh, oh, my temper hit points goes back up to three, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, it's going to try and hit. So it'll do two attacks. It'll do a necrotic attack at. Uh, Singebeard and a non-necrotic attack at Akeem. Singebeard, 
Yep. Akeem. So send the takes eight uh, necrotic damage, and your maximum hit points is lowered uh, by uh, eight. Uh, 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 don't I get a con save? Oh, sorry, con save. I mean, I'm not going to make it, but you might. No. Okay. Your maximum <laughs> hit points are reduced uh, by eight. Okay. Until the end of your next log rest. Heroism is helping. It is. <laughs> um, helperism. Akeem. Okay. Um, my action. Uh, my turn is very simple. I'm going to use the help action uh, to help uh, Iona on her next shot against this thing. Nice. So you the have long advantage. Bow off. <laughs> Yay. I like this longbow off is amazing. Just pinging arrows across this massive gap. So mm -hmm. the longbow off was, was dumb, but like. Alright, time for some... It's like, there's three dwarves surrounding it. Someone is, like, helping to aggro, and then she's gonna weave this, like, shot, and it's, like, doesn't care that she shoots the combat. It's gonna Do be beautiful. Do it, Iona. I'm gonna run up. And then take my shot. Mm hmm First one's at advantage. Yep. Yeah. Here it comes. That is gonna be... Not great. Uh, no. It's not gonna hit. Right, second shot. It's fine, you're well on 19 yeah. now. Yeah, no, you can do this. This is the one. Iona. And. That's the advantage on the second one. <laughs> Alas. No. Oh, oh dear. Well. I was the so excited little zombie to be a helper. This little zombie that dodges everything. I'm really happy you killed the one that was all the way back there, though. Uh, you wouldn't have to run really far otherwise. Yeah, that was going to be real hard for us to deal with. <laughs> What's it? I don't think any of you can see the stairs from where you are. I am also happy you helped. You did a shit ton of damage to the owlbear, <laughs> as the one who's having his fate, her fate eaten yeah, off. That got another round. Uh -huh. I'll probably have someone on the floor. <laughs> Judging by yeah. hit point numbers. <laughs> it wasn't looking good. I probably could have taken one more round of this. I okay, you rolled incredibly well. Uh, I'm not convinced I could. Mm. Or I could have taken one more out of Albert, but I wouldn't have been down by that sword. Mm, good point. Okay. But. Then you're good. Uh, spiritual weapon. No. Um. Just a vady fucking zombie. Mm -hmm. But I'm coming mm. hard for the zombies. It doesn't hit the zombie. Probably better off using a help action. <laughs> this zombie can. It can, but it can do it. It's gonna take you all out. Yeah, I'm gonna gonna go use my action to help Devora. Seeing as I am incapable of actually doing anything. <laughs> Chris, is that your turn? Yeah, that's my turn. I will proceed to. I was like, I liked. Correct me if I'm wrong here, but I like to you picture this as like you you get it shield up and like grab it from behind and just like sort of hold it in place. I saw it more of a clanging hammer on shield thing. Ah, you d you distract it and it turns yeah. to look at the noise. Mm -hmm. Taking advantage of this, I will fluff the advantaged attack. <laughs> Seems to be what's going around today. Um, but the regular attack though. Hits! Yay! Uh, 70, that's that, yeah. So I think, yeah, it, it turns around and there's like a swing as like, I go for it because I just want this thing to be down. And and that misses, so I take a, a, a more measured approach. And as it's turning back to look at me, it meets a hammer. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like, like that. Hmm? It's like Good a luck. little moment as it looks at the ham being put the hammer and just works. It's like, oh. <laughs> and then okay. there is not a zombie anymore. <laughs> well, like falls back onto onto her um, singe bed, collapses down. Good work, team. I'm proud of you. And uh, yeah, you're now standing in a large oh, yeah, arena sort of thing. Uh, you've got so there's this it's big. Uh, except Akeem, who is getting his torch. 
Uh, okay. You know, a <laughs> large room, nice. lots of uh, lots of seats around the sides, amphitheater style. The, the seats are sort of hewn into the rock. Um, the ceiling is high, and the uh, the central area is kind of set into the floor, and also surrounded by uh, by iron bars up to a pretty good height. Um, all around, yeah. fairly functional and heavy duty iron bars. Uh, so yeah, for, you know, large creatures would have trouble climbing out easily. I would like to ask a question that I should have asked earlier. Yes. Uh, the uh, I assume not, but the effects the effect afflicting me is not a disease, is it? No. Cool. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you've got this uh, central sunken area. The uh, the steps lead down to it. Uh, you can also see the balcony opposite with the fancy chairs in the middle and then the benches at the side. Um, and yeah, here you can see a slightly hidden balcony, um, which uh, you can't really see from down here. It's set very high up near the ceiling. Um, and over here near Akeem, there is a small, like, little balcony just raised above the ceiling, just kind of like a like a less fancy balcony with a with a bench in it. Iona? Mm? Would you do would you do us all a favor and have a fly up and look at that one up there? We can't quite reach it. Which one? Point to the uh, the hidden balcony over here that's high up. Oh. Well, I was going to sure. suggest we all gather around for a sec, but uh, apparently Well, we gather Got a great view from up I think there, I'm you're all the least important one here, Canary. Mm. When you say we should all gather up, uh, well, no, I think I you mean, mean because you're not bleeding. You don't have blood pouring out, gushing out yet. Well, but I want to be near. Well, that's all well and good then. But... Well, I think I think that. I think the minecart might have left on that one and point to Akeem, uh, who's found his way up to the balcony. Yep. <laughs> was... yep. It's a good view from up here. Make way up to you then. Um, while I'm up here, um, can I have a can I have a look around? Like, is, yes. there, is there anything interesting, like up on the balcony? Well, there's dead bodies. Mm -hmm. Um, but they mostly appear to be wearing sort of common labor dwarf clothes. Uh, there's a few birds as well, um, but that's that's it for for bodies. Um, and yeah, you, but you don't notice any sort of special item stashes or anything. The chairs are very fancy though. Hmm. That's a good look. I just love that we're going upstairs and like grumbling and moving slowly and the bird is just flying around everywhere. <laughs> like, fucking I love this. She's doing great in this balcony room. I've got to say, it's yeah. not what I was expecting. Do you think they would dance? Say again? Dancing! Do you think they would dance? No. You don't tend to dance on sand. It's just pit. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Sands for the blood. Well, that's not very good for. I'm gonna have a little poke up this one over here because yeah. it's all secluded. And... Yeah, it's like a it's like a nice little side balcony with a bit of a view. Uh, if, for example, the main platform was for super fancy dwarves, this one would be for moderately fancy dwarves. I see. So you've got your. All right, I'm with you. Uh, and uh, Akeem and Iona, the room that you are in, uh, it's uh, much less fancy than the, the rest. It's just plainly dug out. And uh, along the back of the room, uh, you, you go quite high up the, the stairs and you're kind of set very near the ceiling, above even the, uh, the big balcony opposite. Mm -hmm. um, and from here you can see kind of down into the arena. You've got a really good view. Um, and at the back of the room, there is a variety of metal forged machinery, gears and cogs and things uh, that run into and out of the walls. Uh, hmm. Where? You don't know. And uh, near, there's a sort of like opening 
where you can look out uh, on this side. And next to that, there's like a, it's like a big metal desk with uh, a few dials and switches and buttons and things set into it, along with a chair. Hmm. Which is just a stone, regular stone chair sat in front of it. Are any of the <laughs> Are any of the dials and switches labelled in any way? Um, yeah, so you've got... There are three... So there's like a like a lever that you slide up and down which changes between three states. Uh, one of them is zigzag line, one of them is flat line, and that's what it's on at the moment. Mm -hmm. And one of them is like line that goes like flat and then... St hold on, I'll draw it. Uh, it goes like, like flat and then up, and then like that. Mm. Ah, right. I want to flip it to the... Uh, wait, there's other buttons. Okay. I want to know which buttons you press. So yeah, there's three buttons uh, just uh, labeled east, west, and south. Um, and there is uh, another button which um, it, it has a symbol next to it that looks kind of like a hammer. And then finally, there is a sort of box locked to the, like, not like with a key, obvious key, but there's like a sealed box to the table. Um, and it, it looks like there's a, and it, it that, that lock, seems to be magic that you need a magic thing to open the lock right <clears throat> well some sort of controls for the arena up here I'd imagine uh, the switch which switch are you pulling the one that I want to flip it to zigzag zigzag you flip the switch to zigzag and there's this great groaning sound and the gears behind you churn to life. And uh, the floor of the arena starts moving. And it arranges itself into steeply sloped terrain and the sand settles back on top of it. Cool. Like, like spiky zigzaggy terrain that would be fun to fight on. Oh. Thank you for checking if we were down there. <laughs> we could see you from You're up here, right. it's fine. I trust I'm you can see me. I don't trust you looked. Uh, Talia. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> there is another button, a button with a hammer. Is that right? You, you... Uh, yeah, there's a button with a hammer. I want to push it. Well, okay. I'm fixing myself up now for the next 10 minutes. Get down here soon or miss out. You press the button with the hammer. And at this... So the the, the floor kind of... Loads of gears turn. There's a great noise and groaning. These have not been oiled in a while. The floor <laughs> flattens out. And then a, uh, a very thin stone floor, floor kind of slides across from the north, um, blocking it. And, uh, like, yeah, that way, yeah. And then, uh, kind of coming out with it from, like, a sort of concealed to the north, um, like, opening where this is coming. A kind of like a, like a thing slides open and allows a, uh, interesting looking device. You may or may not know it from your fortress to, uh, slide out with it on a little platform, uh, it's, it's a guillotine, um, and uh, yeah, slides out across the floor. Um, the guillotine is stained with blood. Oh no. Ah, this must have been where they did their executions. Let's, uh, let's put no, that let's away. Put that <laughs> there was another button. <laughs> okay, you press the button again and it goes away. Mm -hmm. uh, there was buttons number one, two, and three. Are those yeah. um, east, west, and south? Yes. Try. I'm gonna. Push I suggest pressing the, the east, east button. button. Mm. Yeah. I. Yeah. 
so from here you can see that as you press the east button a door slides open ah oh, there's a detail i forgot to mention as well there's a mm -hmm. uh, there's a dead dwarf up here um as you would expect a dwarf dressed in sort of laboring clothes and also a dead elf and the elf is dressed in rags hmm. okay. uh so yeah a d you can see set down because the arena is kind of set down mm -hmm. from the stands and you can see in the wall where it's set down uh, a door slides open Mm. Nothing comes out, don't worry. I suppose okay. we may as well open all of these up. Yeah, go for mm. it. You, you open them all up? Mm-hmm. Shook, shook, shook. They are all open. Well. Can I, um... Can I search the bodies? Like, if, see if there's anything on them that might um, give some clue as to who they were? You can take a look through the bodies. The uh, the dwarf has uh, gemstones in her hair, and uh, they are made of carnelian. Mm -hmm. And the elf, the elf is dressed in rags and appears to be dead from weapon wounds, uh, not from. Uh, I mean, in fact, the the dwarf has like a dagger, and the elf has been stabbed, and there's probably probably something happened there. Uh. Hmm. Well, it uh, seems like a a just end to the elf. <clears throat> hmm. I wonder what their story was. Maybe one day we'll find out. Hmm. Perhaps. I'm gonna wander back downstairs and um get in on this spell casting. Uh kid. Hey, spell casting club. We have ten minutes. You have got well, ten minutes. about seven and a half now. And casting hmm. prayer of healing at third level. Ah, oh, that's very kind of you. Ooh. Well, I actually have more third level spots than I have second right now. <laughs> hey, I'm going to take the healer. I'm not complaining. Um, so, uh, six creatures within 30, up six creatures within 30 feet. Oh, you're all down here now. Good. Uh, 2d8, which is now up to 3d8 because it's a higher level, uh, plus my spell casting modifier. Alright, friend. What do we get? So that's 3d8 plus 3, I believe. Everybody gets 15 hit points. Yay! Sweet, that takes me back up to max. I'm away of max, but that visibly yep, helps a lot. <laughs> that, mm -hmm. that doubled mine. Um, <laughs> oh, um, heroism will have gone down. Uh, both of you will lose your temporary hit points. That is fine. Already dropped, but thank you for reminding me. <laughs> so, what was up there? Uh, seem to be controls for this arena. We, you, you saw various contractions um, moving around. Uh, we've opened some doors, which um, might be worth checking out. Uh, I didn't see... Um, Katie, I, I don't know precisely where those doors are in relation to the arena. Um, oh, yeah, so I'll draw them on the map sheet. Let's do like a sensible-ish colour. One here, one here, and one. It's kind of awkwardly set with the stairs. Mm. I see. Like it's kind of, yeah, the stairs go down to a point and then there's like a drop. It's a shorter door than the other doors. I see. Okay. There was a box up there too. Oh. Uh, you mean like a crate or a little chest? Uh, a box with a magic seal. Oh. It's not something I um feel like is a good idea to break right now. Hmm. If you say so. You'd know more than me. 
You say you don't want to go smashing random controls where you don't know what they do? <laughs> no, we just activate random controls where we don't know. Uh, yeah. So, now that you're down here, you can see inside each of the three doors, um, you see they're, they're just small, plain, carved box rooms, essentially. Mm -hmm. They're kind of decently sized. And you can see in the, the floors and the walls sort of gouge marks from claws and things. And uh, there's sort of general animal debris. The, the one to the west, mm -hmm. there's no nice way of, of putting it. There's, there's some animal excrement in there, just mummified, so that's nice. Owlbear excrement, perhaps. <laughs> well, you don't know that, but with a nature check. <laughs> I'm not investigating the poop. You can investigate the poo if you want. Check the poo. Is it an owlbear's? It's pretty big. Could be an owlbear. Does this thing poop? I, d I don't think anyone wants to check the poop, Katie. No. <laughs> no. This, this is not World of Warcraft. We do not need a poop quest. <laughs> um, we are missing a key. <laughs> poking around, uh, aside from excrement, is there anything else? In, in no, these, these are these are sort of plain boxes uh, with you know possibly suggesting angry beasts were kept there. Right. Well, you know looks that like we've cleared out everything. That doesn't answer our question. What question? Why in the middle of some uh, catastrophe with undead and plagues and everything were there were four guards posted to? What I assume is a place for entertainment. Well, mm. and justice. How how many corpses are are, are here? We haven't seen that quite many, have we? There there are quite a few. Not many of them are reanimated. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. Um, but there are quite a lot of bodies in here. I would like to return to Rich Boy Land and okay. glance at the corpses for any sign of maybe uh, nobility or indeed royalty or anything to that effect. Of why None of them seem like rich boys. Okay. That was my idea. This does seem like quite a defensible location. Maybe they were trying to make some kind of final stand here. Oh, I suppose that makes sense. I suppose it's also possible that they're, that are just they'd been told to guard the door and had been killed, so they were still guarding the door. Doesn't mm. necessarily mean they got their orders at the end of it. Maybe. I'm, I'm very suspicious of that important. elf. Well, I'm just very suspicious of that elf, frankly. There was an mm -hmm. elf. Oh yes. Um so there are two bo there are two bodies up next to the controls. One one dwarf, she looked like she and and an elf. Um the dwarf looked like she'd stabbed the elf with a dagger. Oh. Actually, mm. sounds like the elf was trying something. Well, that was my assumption. Oh, shame we can't ask it anything. Didn't have. Don't suppose it had a nice little message on a box detailing its evil plans. Nice well, I, I checked, and it, it wasn't really wearing. It was sort of wearing rags. It wasn't really. Um, How'd she say? Yeah, there wasn't much to them. What's your well, thought? If there are more mysteries to this place, I'm not sure we're going to find them here. Um, short of breaking open that magically sealed box, of course. Do it. Um, Break out the lock. These things can, uh, they can have uh, wardens on them. It can be a bit nasty sometimes if you try and force the issue. Well, hang on. I'll go up and take another look at it. Like, it can't hurt just to, to look at it and examine it a bit, see what I can make of it. You know, I've got an, I've got something I'd like to check myself. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up near the box. Um, while, and I'm going to, because this is quick, so I assume this will happen before the full investigation, is I'm going to activate the Divine Sense. Um, mm -hmm. Which means... I think this is viewed as divorce, sort of scowling 
glancing around herself, especially at the box, but I guess anything, including the elf or anything nearby. Which means anything that is within 60 feet of me, if it is celestial, if it is fey, if it is fiend, or if it is consecrated or desecrated, I can tell. N nothing triggers for any of those. Sure. I was fishing on the consecrated or desecrated. Hmm. Um, right, let's have a look. So, uh, so we know it's magical. Um, do we know what aura it's, uh, it's radiating <laughs> if I focus on it? Um, hold on. Schools of magic. Sorry, every time. Uh, Probably. So I'd say the the box is. Mm, I I guess like abjuration. It is the, the barrier. Mm -hmm. Mm hmm. Abjuration. Well, some kind of warding on this thing, um, possibly to protect uh, whatever's inside it. If it's some kind of like emergency control, actually, it would uh, it would make a lot of sense to me that um, this is the kind of emergency control you put in place. Maybe if a monster gets out of control, hmm. you uh, you drop something on it, or um, you pour something out of the ceiling on it. Well, what so, are we talking? Sorry, I, I missed the description. What, 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 what do you mean by box? So it's kind of... Uh, it's like a... It's basically like the, the fantasy, like, opaque, welded metal version of... Like, all these controls are quite big and chunky. Like, the levers are, like, big levers. The, like, buttons are big buttons. Um, and so th this is, like... Like just like it looks like a metal box welded to the table. Oh, it's so you can raise the box. It's like it's like on hinges, mm -hmm. so you could like lift it up, and there would be a button underneath, and you like lift up the thing, and then press the button. Like the like dwarven equivalent catch. of what you'd like lift up and put the nuclear key in. Yeah. Mm. Oh, okay, sorry. I was like. It's like the nuclear yeah. key of the dwarven. Why would controls be in a crate? Was what I was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> no, probably best to leave this well alone until we know what it does. Fine. I suppose anyone has any way of making magic go away? Nope. You know. No. Hmm. Um. Even then, it may um, it may just remove the um, the warding on it rather than stop it from actually functioning. For example, if it brings the ceiling down on top of the arena, hmm. um, then it even uh, it's it's probably mechanical rather than magical. Well, in <clears> that <throat> well in that case, I'm awful glad it is locked because look so but I, I don't know it's terribly possible that they might have been pressed when we were down there you don't oh, know you pressed everything <laughs> it else it could be the cash box it's possible the cash box hmm well <clears throat> I can't think of uh, anything else to do up here nope well, if you guys want to check out We're not playing with water, then I'm certainly not playing with levers up here. Hmm. Hmm. Right, I suppose it's probably, um... That's time to head back. We've, uh... I think we've gotten everything. Uh, we've explored every room we could find. So there wasn't any... Oh, I don't think there were any... Okay, like, memory check, because it's been a week, but it's not been a week for Deborah. Yeah. Uh, we have explored everything in this wing. There has not been any like barricades or anything. We haven't gone past all loose barricades. This you way. did not go to the south at the initial crossroads. So back at the initial crossroads with the statue where you um, had that first fight, you didn't go. There was some hasty furniture barricades that you did what? not go past. Ah, we should probably right. go there then. Let's go look at them. Right. Did we look all on this side? There's a few other little box areas. They're a little less fancy than the big one. 
You're welcome to have okay. a flock around. Light with me at the Won't take you long to catch up. You got some light with you? Uh, there's the the arrows still back there if you want to grab that. I was gonna ask all the messing around with the terrain is is my arrow still? No, the arrow's dead now. So. <laughs> After messing around with the floor, the arrow got eaten by all the floor mechanisms. Ah, that's I bet so. All right, if we, if you want me to make anything else glow, let me know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I still have my scarf glow, but it's not as much. Do you want me to make another arrow glow? No. Yeah, I, I like having Aww. my glowing bow. Okay, hold 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 still. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you, you go. You, you, Katie, you put us indoors in the dark. Why, I why are you not expecting us to need light sources? Because the campaign um, was called Dwarf Fortress. You, you might want to take the arrow. You're all supposed you. to be dwarves! No, you don't have to be dwarves. Wait, is it down from here? Yes, I think it's this bit down uh, here. Yes, it's down. Wait, Backwards. Okay. And that's where we're gonna end it this week. Oh, okay. it's only half eight. It's only half eight. It's only eight forty. And I really need to go to bed. I'm sorry. No, that's, that's alright. All right. I'm Joe Quay. Yes. Thank you for playing this week, everyone. Thank you for mauling my face. <laughs> You're welcome. And I, I like that you, you all thought I was joking about the zombie Albert. Well, <laughs> yes. Yes, yes. We, we were joking funny. about the zombie Albert. The question is, was it already there, or was it hastily added? No, it was supposed to be a zombie, like, Don't beast know. of some kind. It was like a zombie boss. Mm -hmm. Zombie, it was supposed to be one of the beasts that had, like, been in the arena, like, storage areas. Uh, but it wasn't settled that it was an owlbear until we started talking about owlbears. Uh. <laughs> I guess, um, one thing we can say for sure now is that... The disease infects owl bears too. That's true. That is true. Doesn't affect elves, but does for some reason affect owl bears. Yeah. Somehow. Yes. <laughs> there has been absolutely zero zombie elves. Like I'm not mistaken on that. Zero zombie elves. Hmm. Or birds. No, we've had zombie no, birds. No, there's been there's there's been zombie birds and infected birds. I, I assume that at least me. some of the archers would have been birds. <laughs> hmm. I think that would be news to me. It is possible that they, the zombie birds had the dwarven icon. Because, uh, because they copy and posted well, yeah. the dwarven icon everywhere, uh -huh. maybe. I thought there was some birds in there. Hmm. Oh no, there was at least one bird in there. Not that I remember being called out. Well, you're not a zombie yet. Well, there's definitely been infected birds. Yeah. With the hand bleeding. Well, we now I have... just thought that if there were zombie birds, they would take advantage of flying something. I don't know, can they still fly if their wings rolled away? Did they must have been in narrow corridors. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Alright, now now I just need oh, to well. look at Katie and be like, so, Owlbear mounts. Owlbear mounts? <laughs> Owlbear Steve. Oh, good plan. <laughs> That'd be cute. You work on that. That can be your, your fortress objective. I mean, no. <laughs>